So let's talk about, maybe we can get into what is the 660 band, and then we can talk about maybe some of the benefits of the 660 band. And then, I know, all along the way, you're going to be saying, well, what's the difference between this and, and everything else? Yeah, yeah right? Okay. Well, you have one on right now. I do. Yeah. You have it right on. So this is the box. It comes in this box. The 660 band is, it's like a watch. It's like a watch band. It sits there like that. You put it on your wrist just like you would a, ro a watch right there. It's a very simple device in and of itself. It has a power button on one side and it has the charging port on the other side. That's right. Because it has a charging port, uh, it's a rechargeable battery that sits in here that powers up what? Well, it powers up the red light, right? The red light there. Now, if you, I don't know if you can see this. You can see that there are how many colors of lights? All right, question for you in the back. Okay, yeah, that's Two. right. Two. Two. Good job. We have a red light. And what else, it's also considered to be in the red light family. Yes, but it's an amber light. An amber light, it's right? It's at the bottom of the red, yep. top of the amber. What is the nanometer of the red? The red nanometer that we have in this device here is 660. 660. And the tolerance of that 660 is plus or minus about three, or three to five. Okay. So it could range a little bit. It's a, the error rate, essentially, in, yeah. in, when you're, when and you're every, looking at And every light has Every that. light has yes. that. Uh -huh. But then, okay, so then what is the more amber color at the bottom of the red spectrum light? 605. 605. And that's important. That's important, too. 605. So we have two lights. We have, the, obviously, and you can see they're distributed evenly throughout the, the device itself. And like I said, you, like Lauren is wearing, you just wear it right here on your wrist. Well, okay, so why? Why do we wear it on our wrist? Let's talk about, uh, and that probably gets more into the targeted use of what the 660 band does. And there are a myriad of benefits, and we're probably only going to touch on Just maybe, a few, yeah, a few of them, maybe half a dozen or so. But one of the things that we want to point out is that the 660 band is designed for impact uh, primarily in the bloodstream. That's right. You also have a set of veins and arteries that run right here by the right by it the. It goes down surface. and does a U-turn right there. Right. So it goes in and back out, and so you have four channels running right here by the skin That's surface. Right. Mm -hmm. And so red light exposure for the benefits uh, that we're going to talk about in just a second sit right there on the wrist. Now you turn it on. And like I did before, it lights up. You can let it run as long as you like. Yep. It just runs. I mean, I've run it for 40 minutes, you know, at a time until I needed to take it off and do something different. Yep. But, uh, and there are benefits for duration. Um, some benefits target short duration, and some are known to have a better impact when you have longer duration. Thus, the 660 band has this kind of ongoing duration. Right. When you're done with your session, you just go click on the power button and... Turn it off. Okay, so let's jump into the two these two different types of nanometers, the 660 right. and the 605. Okay, there's a lot of research around 660, tons, in fact. Yeah, you hear, everybody knows about six, or at least have heard 660. Uh, yeah, and if you haven't heard, 660 is it, this is not new. This is well researched stuff that has a wide range of benefits. Oh, they use it for pain. They use it for. Uh, a There's lot of beauty, a lot of cosmetic a on lot the of face, you know, and that's why we use the illuminator. Yeah. Because and the 60 for that helps pull the collagen to the surface. That, that's exactly right. It activates that collagen production mm -hmm. process. And in pain, I mean, from joint pain to muscle pain, I mean, I've used res red light therapy for yep. quite a while on knee pain from running and stuff like that just to get the pain relief. And the reason that works is because you're vasodilating. You're opening up the arteries and the veins to allow more blood flow to go through, hence more oxygen. Yes. Uh, Oxygen-rich blood. And you know, it decide, if you can vasodilate, do you know what relief that brings oh. to the heart? Yep. Because uh, vasodilation, less pressure, less pressure. Yeah. less pressure. We live in such a you know yes, non-exercise world. We try to exercise. We want exercise, but sometimes the truth is we don't do as much as we should. And then we live in this thermal climate where we're always comfortable. Whether it's cold, we wear jackets. When it's warm, so, we, so we don't get that change. We don't get that, that, that. Yeah, that yeah. that inflection in the circulatory system to allow flexibility in the veins and arteries. Well, guess what has to bear all that load? The heart. The heart. Yeah. 
So exposure to 660 helps with vasodilation. Allowing the nutrients, the oxygen to yep. go through, and so and you have less pain. You know what else it does? It, uh, it helps with the blood cell function. ATP process. Yep, yep, yep. It, uh, red uh, light exposure has been shown to instigate what's called the cellular respiration. Right. I talk about that actually in another video at yeah, Day yeah. Discovery. Yeah. Oh dear. Cellular respiration, <laughs> ATP process, uh, specific with the vision, put a plug for my other video, go watch it, you know, hopefully. But it helps with the whole body's ATP process yep. in the bloodstream. As you expose the blood to red light, 660, that cellular respiration is instigated. That creates the ATP process, which is energy at the cellular level. So Kai, we've hit a lot of those things, but I think there's one in particular, because you really do a lot of exercise, you do a lot of running. Yeah. I think, what's the, how do you see the 660 working with you? You know, when you run, when you, when you stress something, any area of the body, you get inflammation as well. And inflammation, and this also ties into like arthritis and stuff like there's studies around 660 and the benefits with arthritis, which is, an inflammatory issue, right? Inflammation, 660, has been shown to help there as well, as well as nerve yep. damage. There's so many things. And we're just barely like touching the surface, touching the surface yeah. of 660. But then we have 605. 605 is the other, is that amber color. Yeah, 605 is one that probably less than 1% of the people with red light therapy even know about 605. Mm -hmm. But it is really key in a particular area, and that is how it activates certain supplements that we put into our blood. Right. So here's the reason. 660 uh, will activate um, about 60% of the electrons in methylene blue. Yes. Okay? Yep. But 605 activates 38%. More. So now you're at 98% of the electrons in the, in the methylene blue are being activated. And they activate... So it gets used as it goes through the body yes. and recharged each time it passes through your, your arteries and your well, wrist. Well, and that's the interesting thing because uh, the nutrients that you take into your body, the supplements, they, they're charged. They, at the molecular level, they have charges, right? And those charges are used up as the body as makes use of it, yep, right? Yep. But you're saying that red light, 660 and 605, actually brings back an activity level That's right. to that nutrient or that supplement. It recharges it. Wow. No, think amazing. about that. I mean, think about that not just with methylene blue, but if it applies to that supplement, it can apply to so many others. Like I think of maximizing, whether it's Prime or Think or Omega Pro or yeah. Gold, you know, or any other supplement you take. By exposing the, you, you take the supplement and then where you're banned. Yep. You're getting efficient maximum use out of the absorption of that nutrient throughout Absolutely. the bloodstream. Absolutely, you're just you're just enhancing its natural benefits yeah. by doing this. Yeah, that is so powerful. Just if it just did that, people should do this, right? There's not a ton of research around 605, not as nearly as much as there is with 660. Right. But with our consultants, we we learned that 605 has actually has influence on the plasma of the blood. That's right. It helps kill viruses and bacteria in the blood. Yeah, and that's a key. That's, that, that's so important. Uh, I think it, enough, you should say it again. 660 has wonderful things, and yep. a lot of people know about it, but the 605 does so much more. It just kind of it's just like the finishing touch to what the 660 yeah. can do. It's like the secret so, ingredient yeah. we added to the 660 band, right? Yeah. That not many people know about. The, one of the things that he, he kept referring to when we were talking about, the, okay, well, tell us more about how it kills. Well, he goes, it creates almost like an antibiotic environment in the plasma. That's right. That helps deal with that. That is so strong. That is so powerful. This is the newest thing at Solex. The 660 band with the 660 nanometer and the 605 right. mix. That's right. Recharging nutrients, getting all of the surface benefits, revitalizing collagen, giving a boost to the bloodstream. All kinds of things are going on here. It just helps everything that you're doing. Yep. Better blood circulation, more oxygen through your blood because of the vasodilation, better nutrient through your body because yep. of the, the circulation. The recharge of yep. those. Red light therapy is just something we should all be adding That's to right. our regimen of health. Yep. And so we hope you enjoy it.